Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahashai Bashem Rakakwitash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to my Akim and Akwath out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from this final captivity. And today's topic's going to be entitled What's More Important, Family or Obligation? Okay, so now, um, Family doesn't have to, it doesn't necessarily have to mean family. It just could mean, or in this context specifically, obviously, you know, I don't mean the Slakia. In this context specifically, I guess, yes, this is going to be talking about family, but it doesn't have to be family. It could be literally anything. Anything that you deem is very important and it conflicts with your obligations, you know, in the, not even in this truth or just in general um that that's basically the whole the divide or the um conflict the conflict of interest in these two things that you hold dear or i would hope that you will hold, hold dear and then the um the resolution of the conflict or your decision in choosing which um which route to take in terms of what's more important to you okay so now in doing this lesson i want to bring out one of my favorite uh anime characters now initially i just thought oh a cool oh what a cool design a nicely cool looking character but you know after after um you know actually being being older and actually seeing and looking at what he represents i have grown i've been able to like respect him to a an a, a greater degree because um this character byakuya kuchki um in the when he is initially introduced um he is basically uh he's like a a um, I don't know what the word is, but he's basically so into doing his job. He's so into his obligations, like obligations, his obligations to, you know, fulfilling his role takes precedent over any and everything. E even if it, even if it's at whatever the cost, he has to, he's going to fulfill his role. That's basically what he is, what he's doing. So the thing with that is when I first you know was watching bleach when i was a lot younger i forgot what age uh, i thought you know like why is he being so like so strict and all that? like I, I didn't fully understand it okay obviously being a child chill uh well not really it just depends on on how you grew up but yeah as a child for me being a little growing up in a more lenient environment you know i thought like why it's not it's not that serious you don't really need to you know do that you know just uh you know chill out or whatever and the thing is what he the what he the conflict that i'm talking about is in the soul society arc when um ichigo the main character of bleach is going to go rescue rukia rukia got taken back to be executed okay so rukia is his sister adopted sister whom who he cares a, he cares a, a significant amount about okay so slakia so he cares a, a lot about his sister yes but the thing is she broke the law and and because she broke the law um the uh, higher ups or whatever or their bosses told said okay so because she broke the law she has to be put to death okay so yeah very simple matter okay um so he's saying that, okay so she broke the law I, I don't have a choice you know she has to you know that that's what my higher ups said. It's out of my control. Uh, I wish it didn't happen, but oh well, I, uh, it has to happen. That's that's basically it. Okay, so now 
he so now with that in mind okay uh i should have written this down better and taken it to point point by point salakia if i am if i um miss around a bit but basically um yeah he is he said okay she is to be put to death all right no nothing there's no helping it okay so now with that i'm like okay why like that but that's your sister like shouldn't you you know try to do something or just stop it or just you know don't be a part of don't take part in that but the the thing is um staying on to you know ask questioning why is it that he is um he's okay with killing his sister and the answer to that is while we're still on the um questioning him is because he he is a noble he is one of a part yeah right there he is a part he is the head of one of the four great noble clans okay so he has a lot right he has a lot of um prestige i guess i don't know but like he people look up to him okay so like he he has to set a very high standard all right so if he um you know bends the rules just for her just for her his sister which isn't really his sister that's his adopted sister but he still cares about her then that means that the rules or yeah i was just gonna say the rules the rules aren't important and they're not worth following because he is choosing to break the law just to benefit him and his family okay so that's which i would that, that is what i didn't understand back then at the time but you know as i am older you know now i can see that and another reason one of the one of the, ins the things that actually inspired me to do this video is because i was listening to it's like i wasn't listening but i was reading um people were saying you know oh Byakuya, this guy is was wrong for um allowing them to to kill or attempt to kill his sister because if because that that's his sister he should have uh fought against it but the thing that they miss the thing that they don't understand is the fact that as i said he is a noble he is a very high ranking in a high, very high ranking position he's a very um notable person that he can't just go breaking the rules so if he broke the rules just for him just for his benefit then does it, does does that mean that number one the rules the rules should not be followed the rules should not be followed mean that everyone else can break it uh number two um just be a disorderly bunch and what whatever you know just 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 basically you know living in chaos no no proper order all right that's basically you know that's the general gist of it okay so uh with that um moving on to uh um the more in more into um his reasons is um or his i guess his backstory properly pro probably um it's his his wife who died asked him please protect you know my sister or his sister so this is his sister-in-law okay but his parents um said stop breaking the rules stop breaking the laws you've done it enough times like just stop with that okay so right now he's this exactly this is what I was saying in the very beginning of the video. So now he 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 is stuck between two you know um two um obligations, okay? The promise he made to his wife to protect his sister and the promise he made to his parents to not break the rules, okay? So so on top of just, you know, following the following the um rules, you know, he has uh, an emotional connection to both to both sides of the um, of the thing, okay. Which 
again, it's it, it it this is very important because it builds up to okay, so now we have our old our own, you know, um emotional connections to, you know, something like um I don't know, but like uh for example, um uh let's say oh perfect example abraham killing uh about the abraham um was told by the most high yahweh to kill isaac okay so i abraham is basically in the same thing he has he cares about his son but he cares about you know pleasing the most high so yes there's that in there's that whole um um i guess the the whole emotional attachment to both sides, okay? Lo- if you loving the, if you love the Most High, you will you know heed His words. You will heed His words, follow and and follow and follow after what He says, okay? But at the same time, if you love your son, you know you're not you're not gonna want to you know kill your son or your just your chil your children in general if you love them. Obviously, no parent that loves their children wants their children to die. Uh, very clearly very most as most people that have a normal relationship with their as normal as normal can get in this wiki kingdom but um as normal as normal as could get you know a parent does a good parent does love their child and they don't want them to die uh, they would they would, a parent would die for their for their children before Letting their children die, all right. And I, uh, um, okay. Well, yeah. And basic. That's basically the parallel I'm. I've gotten to here. Okay. So just like uh, Abraham, you know, Biakia didn't want to kill, get have their loved one killed. Okay. So, Slakia, <coughs> um. But again, it's that there's there's the whole emotional um, attachment to both sides, as well as the um, just the whole you know following what following after what you were told. Okay, so um, I forgot what's called Central Thirty Central Forty Six. I believe that's the um, that's the name of the people that were saying to execute her. So execute a sister, and that's basically. Not entirely in a li- not in a literal sense, but you know, to the best of um of um uh, drawing comparisons that uh we can get to, that is basically um his um his power or the people that he listens to, okay, um that that's basically the 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 Most High Yahweh to Abraham, okay. Section forty six is Yahweh to. Biakia as um, vice versa, okay, or or, or um, not vice versa, but uh, Abraham or the Most High Yahweh is to uh, Abraham. All right, so now um, they have he has he has his orders. They both have their orders, and you know, obviously, um, they feel like the thing that they're being told to do is hard, and they don't want to do it, but. That what, what um, Abraham did? Okay, let's go down. Let's just go down to um, Genesis chapter twenty-two, verse verse seven. And Isaac spoke, spake unto Abraham his father, and said, "My father." And he said, "Here am I, my son." And he said, "Behold, the fire and wood." But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, Yahweh will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Okay, so now over here, it, they're, they're not even at the um, offering site yet. But Abraham said pre- prior, uh, we're going to go to the site and it, don't worry about anything um don't worry about anything the most high is going to look out for us okay he's going to provide for us all right now um um 
Sakia, notice the words. Notice the words um, that um, Abraham said. Okay, um, in verse eight, and Abraham said, "My son, Yahweh will provide Sakia. My son, Yahweh will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering." Okay, meaning that, um, not, not directly meaning Slakia. The word is literal in the sense that he said, "A the Most High will send us a lamb." Okay, obviously, I'll, I'll, it, it it was like because uh, we know Yahweh Shah is the lamb. Okay, so that's it's it's a met more meta it's more metaphoric, but it it's still a, a beautiful thing. In the sense that it was intended to be metal, metaphoric, but it turned out to be literal in this sense. All right, but the mo Slakia, Abraham had faith that everything was going to work out. You know, he had to do his obligation, and whatnot, and he he trusted he trusted the Most High, and you know, believed that everything everything would be good. All right, now. Uh, where is it? Verse 9, And they came to the place where Yahweh had, had told him of, and Abraham built an altar there, and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that, um, Abraham knew, I don't, I don't, Slakia, I'm not gonna say Abraham knew that, uh, a literal lamb would come. All I know, all we know, is that you know, he he was going to kill his um, kill his son for the Most High. But I don't um, whether he knew the uh, uh, actual lamb would come is very debatable. Um, where is it? Where was I? Okay, so yeah, and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar upon the wood. Verse ten, and Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. Okay, so he, he was getting ready to slay Isaac. Verse eleven, and the angel of the Most High called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and he said, Here am I. And he said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest Yahweh, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. Slack, yeah. So, verse 13. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught up, caught in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. But so, but again, look at the um, um, verse eight, and uh, Abraham said, "My son, Yahweh will provide himself a lamb." Okay, so um, yes, metaphoric in yes, metaphoric in the sense of a lamb meaning the sacrifice. But like also literal in the sense that you know an actual an actual sacrifice you know came an actual sac sacrifice oops, lock it up, was was there dang it an actual sacrifice appeared you know to the point where Isaac did not have to be killed anymore all right. And, you know, going back into, you know, Biakia, um, where he was, he was prepared to kill his sister. But the thing is, that, that was, that was basically it. it. It wasn't, obviously there are more details into the story, but for the sake of, you know, keeping it simple as well as, you know, talking about the certain aspects I want to, I'm, trying to convey here which is you know keeping your um your obligation fulfilling your obligations not not keep fulfilling your obligations okay he you know was just only aiming towards 
fulfilling his obligation. Okay, because he his sister broke the law. She can't. So his sister broke the law. Is the higher up said she she can't be uh she can't do this. She has to be killed because she broke the law. Okay, so that was that that was and that's basically the end all be all of it. And there were a bunch of um people around his rank that were saying that were that were torn some of them said you know that's that's kind of that's kind of extreme that's too much you can't do that and other people were saying well uh, whatever okay that's just that's a law we have to do it you know and then some just you know didn't care and whatever but um again it just it it goes to show you know it not goes to show but basically um if do he 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 was in the mindset of doing what was right for us you know the you know the actual lesson in this lesson is the fact that we need to be like um biakia this the current biakia that I'm talking about not the current the biakia that I'm talking about and we have to be like Abraham in the sense that we can't let we can't allow um, emotional attachments to cloud our judgment, to cloud our judgments. Okay, what we are sent to do, what we have to do, um, what we have to do. We can't we can't just get sentimental. We have to um, make the hard decision. Okay, obviously, you know. Uh, I say this. I say this, but you know, I could be. I could be met with um, a harsh, a harsh um, decision as well, and you know, uh, just the. Just remember what Abraham had to go through. He had, he had faith. Okay, he had faith that it was gonna be all right. You know, he was intending. On um, killing Isaac, but you know, he he fe- he feared the Most High above above all else, above his love for his son, and he was rewarded for for that. Okay, so with that, you need to with for for us, we need to have faith that everything's gonna work out, and you know, our obligation to the Most High it takes priority over anything okay because if 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 you were in a similar um position which lord forbid well you know but if we were in a similar position where you know for some reason you had to execute your um a loved one you know you would for the most high or whatever because they you know they went off and they did something wrong or just or just in general you know um uh as this how this truth um splits causes causes the division in um in families you know uh because this truth causes division in families you know you have to be able to just say okay you know what uh, i i love my family but you know they're they're not in this truth or and when things when all hell breaks loose you know you you can't you can't do anything for them like i'm not i'm not i'm not saying you know you have to go kill your family just because they're not in the truth you know you you still have to deal with your family you know regardless of what where you're at in your life right now whether you're um you have money to you know go to move out even if you can, you can. You can do it. Go ahead. If you can't, then you know you have to deal with them. No one's telling you to be homeless just because, you know, you're in the truth and your family is not. So, you know, your obligations. Your ob just know that. Just know that. Um, at the end of the day, your obligations to the Most High take precedence over everything. And yes, we have to deal with certain. T- issues but you know just have faith that oh have faith that uh possibly 
uh, one day, even though while right now, maybe right now, you know, you're the only one that's in the truth in your family. Maybe one day through the will and power, through the will and mercy of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, He opens the eyes of your brothers and sisters, your immediate family that you grew up with. Okay, so then they they can come in the truth with you, and it's and you're not divided against them anymore. All right. Uh, Matthew chapter 17 verse 20 And Yahweh Shai said unto them Because of your unbelief For verily I say unto you If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed Ye shall say unto this mountain Remove hence to yonder place And it shall remove And nothing shall be impossible unto you So uh, basically If you have faith You know It's basically saying the Impossible will happen So um, When it, Oh, perf uh, uh, this is a perfect example. Um, the fact that his, he, Slakia, she was sentenced to death, okay? She absolutely had to die because they already sent her, sentenced her to death. But, and he was going through with it until the very end. But because, because of the story or whatever, you know, he didn't have to do it. It it was called off. Okay? And that is the that's the that is the miracle. That's the mountain being moved. That's the impossible being po being made possible through the will and power of the most high how about Shimia was shot. Because you were you you had the resolve of making the hard decision of Putting your obligation to the Most High above your family, metaphorically, metaphorically family, as in whatever other whatever whatever other thing that you care about, but it conf conflicts with your obligation with the Most High. So, having faith, having that faith to be able to go through with it and trust that the Most High will make everything all right. Like it's not just it's just not it's not a matter of of um uh just choose oh i love this more or something like that it's a matter of i trust in the most i love the most high i trust the most high and i i ha i am obligated to put the most high's orders above everything okay as he was obligated to put um his boss's boss's orders above all else okay so that's that's basically that okay um revelation chapter 2 verse 10 for fear not Slakia, chapter revelation chapter 2 verse 10 fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tired and ye shall have tribulation 10 days be thou faithful unto death and i will give thee a crown of life Okay, so if, even if, even in, um, oh, a perfect example, when, um, you are, when we're faced with the, um, the karagma, when we're faced with the karagma, uh, are you going to take it just because, you know, you're dying, just because you're starving, okay? In any, any scenario in, during Jacob's trouble, when we're struggling, are you going to, you, you're gonna you're you're gonna be um, put into two different scenarios. The first scenario, you take the karagma, you join in join in with the world, and you know you you abandon the um, Most High, and then you're gonna die for it. Or you str you struggle, you endure until the end with and. You hold off, not hold off, but you stay strong in rejecting the karagma, and through the will and power, through the will and power and the mercy of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, He will deliver you out of that affliction. Okay, so that, that's 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 actually that's basically that's basically it. The whole moral of the story. If you if you are in um in a in between a rock and a hard place, okay, 
your obligation should first be pleasing the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? Yes, you don't want to lose someone. Yes, you don't want to lose something or whatever it is that you're being forced to choose in. Choose in. Tr believe, believe that the Slaki have faith in the Most High and trust that everything is going to be all right. That's basically the um, main point with this. And um, again, I just thought <coughs> this is a this was a very a very um spiritual lesson. Okay, this is a very spiritual lesson to um. Surprisingly spiritual, not not unironically spiritual lesson to learn from um, this, from this um you know, from this anime I guess from this anime. Okay, like uh, your obligations take. Yes, you don't want to lose something, but at the end of the day, you know you are under obligation to do certain things, and you have to do them. All right, and with that, and with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Most High Yahweh, by Shem and Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And with that, I want to say Shalom.